Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizama. Please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please try and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload new videos, you'll be notified. Now, in today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to draft a basic bodies block. Now, this is my starting point and is also going to serve as my shoulder line. And my pattern paper is folded into two, one for my front panel and the other for the back panel. So now I'm going to start by taking my vertical measurement. And my shoulder, I'm going to start by taking my shoulder to my bust point. Shoulder to bust point. And shoulder to... My waistline, which is 16 inches, then show that to my hip point, which is 24 inches. So I'm going to extend these points so I can connect them with straight horizontal lines. that I'm going to take my neck measurement now my neck width is three inches my neck width is three inches and my neck depth is three inches which is standard for drafting basic bodies so I'm going to connect it I'm going to connect these two points So the next thing I'll do is to take my back neck measurement. I'm going to use one inch for my neck for my back neck depth. So I'll connect this point to this point. So this is my back neck line and this is my front neck line. Now, another thing I'm going to do is to take my shoulder measurement. Now, you're going to take your shoulder measurement on your shoulder line. Now, whatever your shoulder measurement is, you're going to divide it into two. Now, my shoulder measurement is 14 inches. 14 divided by 2 gives you 7. Now, from this point, I'm going to come down by one inch for my shoulder slope. You know, our shoulder is not entirely straight. So, I'm going to come down by one inch for my shoulder slope. So, I'll connect this point to this point. Next thing I'm going to do is to create my armhole curve. Now, for me to create my armhole curve, I will need my armhole depth. Now, for you to get your armhole depth, you have to divide your armhole measurement by 2. So, my armhole, depth, my armhole measurement is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2 gives you 8. 8 inches. So I'm going to connect this line so I'm going to connect 
this point to this point. Now, after that, I'm going to extend this point with an horizontal line, which will serve as my chest line. Now, I'm going to label all these lines. Now, this is my shoulder line. This is my shoulder line. This is my chest line. This is my bust point. This is my waistline and this is my hip line. Now I'm going to impute my dart. Now for me to get my dart, I'll need my nipple to nipple measurement. My nipple to nipple measurement is four, it's 8 inches. 8 divided by 2 gives you 4 inches. Now I'm going to place that 4 inches on my bust point, on my waistline and on my hip line. So I'll connect it with a straight line. From my bust point, I'm going to come down by one inch, which is going to be the starting point of my dart legs. Now from my hip line, from my hip line, I'm going to come up by two inches which is going to be the end point of my hip, of my dart legs. Now from my waistline, I'm going to take half inch from both sides of my dart line. I'll connect these points together. Now, I'm going to place my horizontal measurements. And all of these horizontal measurements, I'm going to divide them by 4. The reason why we do that is because what we are drafting now is only a quarter of the bodies. Now, on my chest line, I'm going to take my bust measurement. Now, when you're taking your bust measurement, you divide your bust circumference by 4. And whatever it gives you, just place it on your bust, on your chest line. Now, my, my bust circumference is 38 inches. 38 divided by 4 gives you 9.5 inches. I'm going to come down to my waistline. My waist circumference is 32 inches. 32 divided by 4 gives you 8 inches. 8 inches plus this, that, value whenever you remove that you need you have to return it because if you don't return it you're going to run short of fabric now this one inch that i removed here for that i'm going to return it here so eight plus this one inch gives you nine inches i'm going to come down to my hip point I'm going to take my hip measurement on my hip line. Now I'm going to divide my hip circumference by 4. And whatever it gives me, I'm going to place it on my hip line. So I'm going to come over to this point. Now I'm going to find the midpoint of, these, of this line. Now, this is the midpoint of this line. Now, from this midpoint, I'm going to come in by three quarter of an inch. 
for my front armhole. So I'll connect this point to this, I'll connect this point, this point to this point. So this is my front armhole. You know, our front armhole is usually deeper than the back armhole. So I'm going to take the back armhole. The back armhole, I'm just going to come down from this midpoint. I'm just going to connect it to this point. So this is my front armhole and this is my back armhole. Next thing I'll do is to connect these points together. I'm going to connect these points together. So I've connected these points together. Now I'm going to impute my side that. Now for me to impute my side that, I'll need, um, I'll need to find the midpoint of this line and this line. That is my chest line and my waistline. So this is the midpoint. So I'm going to connect this point to this point. Now from this point, I'm going to come down by one inch. I'm going to come down by one inch. This is where my dart legs will be starting from. Then from this point, I'm going to take half inch from both sides of my dart legs. So I'll connect these two, I'll connect these three points together. So this is my side that. Now, after taking your side that, you have to return this that. When you fold this that, this place is going to come up. So this one inch that you removed here, you're going to return it here. So I'm going to return this one inch here and I'll connect it to this point. So I'm going to connect this point to this point. You're going to do that smoothly. that I'm going to separate the back panel from the front panel. I'm going to start by cutting off the back panel. So I've separated the front panel from the back panel. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim out this part because we don't need it at the front. Now all the prominent lines I have 
on the front panel. I'm going to transfer them to the back panel. Now I've transferred the lines. Now this allowance is not needed on the back panel. So I'm going to trim it out. I've labeled the lines. Now this is my chest line. This is my bust point. This is my waistline. And this is my hip point. Now I'm going to impute my dart. For me to impute my dart, I'll need, I'll need my nipple to nipple measurement. Now my nipple to nipple measurement is 8 inches. 8 divided by 2 gives you 4 inches. Now I'm going to place that 4 inches on my chest line, on my waistline and on my hip line. And I'll connect the lines. So after that, on my chest, on my chest line, from my chest line, I'm going to come down by five in, by half inch while from my hip line I'm going to go up by two inches now on my waist line I'm going to mark half inch on both sides of my dart line And I'll connect all those points together. So this is it. Now, this is my back panel and this is my front panel. Please, one more thing. I didn't, I didn't add seam allowance to my paper, but while drafting on your fabric, don't forget to add your seam and your hemming allowance. Please, if you find this tutorial helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.